Hi, it's Thomas Kronemark, the throwing coach. In this video, I'm going to talk about Hungary's offensive throw-ins here at the Euros. I got this video from Thomas Busco, so it's him who's been making all the graphics and all the video. So thanks a lot for that. He tagged me on LinkedIn. Uh, he compared Hungary's throw-ins with Liverpool's, and I've been coaching Liverpool FC in the throw-ins for five seasons, so I can see some of the elements there. But I'll also say that Hungary are doing a lot of things wrong in this video, so I'm going to highlight that. First of all, I, I want to say that it's all about the details. Like you say, the devil is in the detail, also with throw-ins. And I think a lot of clubs and coaches and players are, are going a little bit... Um, how can you say not deep enough into the throw-ins? And if you're not mastering the details, you're not doing great throw-ins. But before I go into the four different throw-ins here from Hungary, I like to say I'm a professional throwing coach. I've been coaching clubs all around the world, been part of 15 titles, a lot of promotions, a lot of teams punching above their weight. If you want to invite me for a two-day inspirational visit, you're absolutely welcome. But let's go into Hungary's throw-ins here. So let's start with the first one. So the first one here, we have a throw-in in the middle of their pitch. Um, so let's see here, we have a, we have a run from a, a player inside, and that's, that's quite fine. Uh, what happens here is one of the biggest things. It's, it's actually quite fine what happens here. It's at least with the decision of the player, but it's just too unprecise. You want, to, you want that... Um, throw in to go to the feet because then you can, for example, have a return pass. He actually have enough receiver, enough space to actually take the ball himself. But because this uh, throw in is unprecise to the chest, we'll see it again here, unprecise bumpy return pass, we come into a pressure situation. So potential good uh, space near the thrower, uh, it's totally ruined because of the really unprecise throw in. So you have to work with the small details like precision, know uh, when to throw where, the good return passes. So, so we go from uh, an acceptable, acceptable option to a really bad option. We come into pressure. So actually, Hungary, they're coming in a bad position. We're looking here, and the ball just goes up there, up there to a duel. That's not a satisfying situation. So again, acceptable option for Hungary, but going into a really bad bad um bad situation here so i'll call this a bad throw in from hungary and yes i know they got a new throw in but the throw in itself was really bad let's go to the second throw in here so we go here we have a little shovel he could could have been throwing there it's okay but the space is not good enough then we choose to throw up the line it can be okay if we have good space up the line and they actually have good space but the challenge here is that the receiver from Hungary, he, he's running towards the ball. So it means he gets the ball into uh, onto the head. And now he makes a flick. And this is, again, just, just a duel. And he just flicks it up there. And so this develops into a bad situation for Hungary. What should the receiver have been doing? He should have been, po been posting up. So stayed back instead of running forward. Received the ball in the feet. And then we want a third man run, run from Hungary. So again, this ends up in a, a, in a bad situation for Hungary. And yes, they get a new throw in again. Is that acceptable? Yeah, it's better than nothing, but the throw in itself was really bad. Let's go to the third situation. We come again here, and like you see here, we come, we get out what I call just a shuffle in the midfield. That's actually quite okay. The space is not good enough, so he doesn't throw. I think that's fine. You can see here that Thomas has marked like, like, for the mini switch uh, to, the, to the central defender over there. I can't even see if it's a six or it doesn't matter, but there's space over there. But if we want to use that, we want to have different kinds of space creation from the midfielders there. There's also an option for uh, the niner up there, um, up diagonal. But if you want, we want to use that, he wants to box up again and we have, want to have third man runs. So instead, Hungary are throwing just down the line here. And you can say that, is that bad? I don't think it's 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 good enough. Yes, if he flicks it on, he can flick it on in the back room. But we are throwing it up to a duel again. So yes, sometimes I've seen this go well in a match. But it, it, there's actually a bigger chance that it'll go well for the defending team. Um, 
and it does here, so they lose the duel. So again, third throw in, bad option, not a good throw in from Hungary. And let's just see the last one here. So what we see here is, is a block. And what's really important for me to say that blocking and screening, I've been doing a lot uh, with that, especially in Liverpool. What we want here is a good football screening. So either it should be not too soft because then the defender can run around, but it should not also not be too hard. And I think that the Hungary guy who's, who's uh, blocking here, it's just on the edge because I think that's a little bit too hard. The ref can also... Uh, yeah, uh, do a foul here. So let's see again. So quiet, quiet this block here, quiet, tough. Okay. So what's really important here is that, okay, the, the referee doesn't give a foul for uh, for Hungary here. So so what we want to do here is that we got space from, from the receiver. What we want here is that he throws it into the space uh, how can you say uh, on 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 the uh, right side of the receiver here on his right side, so to the left side of the screen. Then we want the player here to take the ball inside the pitch when he receives, and then you can see there's a lot of space for for the big switch here over to uh, to the fullback furthest away. But what happens here is that he plays it back, and now we have a high pressure situation. It's really good. Uh, it's it's really good for the opponents here. Uh, it's a low pressure risk, and the striker from the opponents he can also go down and pressure here. So, what could be a really good situation where the receiver been taking the ball after the screening and then switch the ball that ends up in a high pressure situation. And so so again, let's just roll it back. Sorry sorry again, everybody out there. So what happens here? It goes back here. So we have a high pressure situation, so it ends ends uh, ends up bad here. So so again, back to the whole video here is that yes, I saw great elements from Hungary here, but actually most of the situations are ending up bad or bad throw-ins because they're not doing the details well. So again, but thumbs up to Hungary because they have been working with the throw-ins, but if you ask me, it's not good enough. And again, some people are saying, wow, national teams doesn't have much time. Yes, I know that compared to club teams, but you have to do the basics first uh, before you're really good at the throw-in. So again, thumbs up to Hungary to, to work with this. Again, if someone wants to book me for inspirational visit, two-day inspirational visit, you're welcome to do that. Again, I've been part of 15 Tiles in international football. You can follow me on all social medias. Again, thanks to Thomas for checking me in this video here. And no matter where you are in the world, good luck with your throw-ins. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.